in the left-hand side, the opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come, folks, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So no matter which one you pick, if it works for you, awesome. For some reason, it doesn't. 29th day, just cancel it. And Basil has a huge amount of archives out there that you can really understand how to ride that wave. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, what's going on is what's going off. I was in the middle of uh, the show. I, I was able to set some time aside to do uh, Larry's show, and Larry's uh, suffering from COVID, and it was going well, and suddenly everything just went off, everything. And then I finally got through the Comcast, and it turns out someone had cut the cable, and they're going to spend a couple of hours oh. replacing it. Isn't that wild how we live and die by and you, cable and you can't internet? I believe, uh, yeah, you're so, I'm so, and I've got backups and everything, but yeah. I've got my laptop when I, I'm out of town, when I'm overseas or anywhere around. I always, I can use my laptop. It's all set up, but it's set up to go to my desktop, which has my my charts that I use all the time. Sure. So <laughs> so I'm staying at a Dow that says Dow up 185. I'm not sure what it's up right now, but 144. Dow, yeah. So yeah. So I I thought I'd just do this quickly because I wanted to give an overview. So Basil, first off, where where like are you? You visiting your son in New York? Uh, okay. I, so sorry, you were going to say? Yeah, are you visiting your son in New York? No, I'm actually right here in my office. Oh, Newton, okay, and, okay, uh, I got it, I got it, okay, cool. I got cut off, but I'm saying that I, when I use my laptop, I can be anywhere in the world right. and connect, but I connect to my desktop. Sure, and, yeah. Uh, my, at, at my home office. Right. So, all right. so we're looking at the Dow right now. One of the things I had looked at and I discussed on my show quite often was the low that was made on the 25th of May in the Dow and the high that was made on August the 1st um, at 35,679, which actually is where we went short the down. We're still short that position. Um, oh, I'm looking. At, we're back. I, I think I got my internet back, but it's too late. I'm, I'm looking at you on my laptop. <laughs> so um, that was the exact number of days to, to October the 6th on Friday. That's well, crazy. You, you know, I use bar symmetry yeah, so that yeah. in, a, in a cup formation, the bottom from the left side high can go to the right side high in the same number of bars and in the odd formation from the bottom to the top and then back again is exactly the same. I actually have to make you a little, I'm sorry, Tom, I have to make you a little quieter on my, my laptop. There it is. Yeah. That's all right. So, I, I'm um, just actually, as you're talking, I, I, I see what you're saying. So I put up a chart and showing the audience, right? What you're talking about? Cool, man. Yeah, I, I'll I'll do that on my show tomorrow. My Tiger Tech yep. Lessons Hour. I did it this morning as well. So it's the exact number of bars. So with that in mind, I was preparing that we should start a long, just a trading position, which we have now. We actually have the three times long Dow, um, because I thought we try to want, want to maximize whatever we can because. How the big test is that the 200 period moving average is going to be very important if we turn down from there and it hits it exactly today at 33,898. So we'll see what happens after this. We've taken little bits off to, to, to garner some really quick, very nice profits uh, in that position. Then the other one was the QQQ, the index 100. I've been using the nine period moving average over or under the 14 period moving average as a kind of a benchmark for the turns in the Dow when we got that turn on exactly the 1st of August in the Dow to the downside. I was using on balance volume for that plus some other indicators. But the nine period moving average took about 11 sessions before it turned negative in the daily. Well, I've been looking at this and the weekly chart of the QQQ, the index 100 trading vehicle, hasn't turned hasn't turned pink. It's still green. Wow. So I thought, okay. If there is going to be a bounce, I'm sure that it's going to incorporate uh, HEC, which is the uh, which we've missed the buy signal in. Even though I wanted to get it, we missed it, and that's the uh, cybersecurity ETF. It was acting so well on Friday early morning. And the S&P had already made a low three days uh, on Wednesday, two days before that. 
So we went along the TQQ, which is, Q, which is three times along the um, Qs, just as a short, uh, small short-term trading position. And one of the reasons is if that weekly chart holds well, it means that it hasn't even given a sell signal yet. And that's a good sign. And you've had this rotation through the, through the big cap. So because the hack, the stocks that I like in hack are also in the um, – in the QQQ, I thought this would be a good opportunity to do that. And then I was looking at the financials, and they've been acting so poorly. But I thought if this, uh, if the bonds are able to get some kind of traction to the upside, then the financials should benefit a little bit. But I didn't want to go to the standard banks. We usually go to Bank of America. I said, no, I think we're going to go to an electronic banking system, be a little bit more contemporary. Because uh, it because it has the, um, the the panache, it has that extra, you know, something interesting about it because it's mostly um, using high technology. So we bought a, a, an Inter. I have, I'm not going to give the name. It's not free to my subscribers because we just got it and it's done fabulously. But we got a very low priced internet banking stock, and that's doing quite well. So I'm being very selective on the moves, and even more importantly is that the dollar. Uh, even though it's pulled back, and I, I don't know what the dollar is doing right now, but that does help because I, I drew in, a, a, I think I've seen you do that as well, channel lines in the dollar, and it was just testing a very important trend line right now. So I think if the dollar, I haven't got any technical indicators that say the dollar is going to weaken a lot. I see that it can pull back a little bit, but um, and we are along the dollar, but if the dollar starts to pull back, I think it can help the general market because. They have been, I wouldn't say tied exactly together, but the, the strength of the dollar has been impacting the market. Sure, sure. So, yeah, so I thought I'd give a little bit of an overview here. You know, it's funny, Basil, when I was listening to your show this morning, and folks, you know, where Basil lives is a beautiful place, man. Great schools, just a great city. I used to go out there all the time because that is one of the best bagel shops in Boston, right? And Basil was talking about how many Teslas were in his neighborhood. And yeah. they'd probably kick you out, Basil, if you came in with a muscle car. <laughs> <laughs> you're correct. You're correct about that. But it is it's just so funny. I mean, I, I look around, and uh, they, they're almost as common as uh, yeah. the Prius. I mean, right. it, it's very interesting, but they have dropped the prices. And if you look at the chart, right. the chart is holding really well. It's the only electric, <coughs> company, electric uh, vehicle company that has done so well in the I, I think of them as the old guys on the block because they've been around for a while. And they're fast as anything, those Teslas, man. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. they're incredible. Well, listen, Basil, yeah, thanks quiet. for coming on, yeah. man. I really appreciate it. You have a great night, safe night. Glad you got your internet back, and I look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Okay, stay right there, folks. We get the Dow up 135, NASDAQ up 98, S&P's up 26. We're coming right back. Steve Rose.